Welcome to another video of my series about Decathlon cycling equipment and clothes. And in this episode, I'm going through the cycling shorts, pads that they offer and which I think are good and which I think are better to avoid it. If you haven't seen my other videos, I have a complete guide about pants in general and also about jerseys. So let's get into it and I'm going to guide you through the world of Decathlon cycling shorts pads. I have divided this topic in two different videos. So one is for men and one is for women as they have a little bit different options and the shorts just look completely different. All right, so let's start with the offer for men. There's four basic pads that form the foundation of what they are offering. We have two from Triban, two different ones, and two from Van Riesel. From left to right, you could say they get more expensive and also more comfortable. There's two things that we can have an eye on. For one is the density, so how comfortable is the foam to, to squish it, and also the thickness. This is the essential one, so really the cheapest one that they have and it has a density of 65 and a thickness of 13. Design-wise, we have the split design with the pointy edge and a little bit bigger on the back, which is the important part for your seat bones. Stepping up from there, the RC100 has a very similar design, but if we look at the data, then the density already 100, so this is a little bit more difficult to squeeze, so in theory more comfortable, and the thickness is the same, and as you can see the design actually it's very much the same, probably they use the same tools. And on top of that we have the Van Riesel RC500, again RC100, RC500, uh, the same logic as they have with other products, and here we have 120 to 100 so again more comfortable and unfortunately they didn't show a thickness but it's fairly thick um, i personally write those every day it's 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 a very thick one uh, the design very nice pre-shaped uh, curved so it's very uh, nice fitting to to your body already uh, it's not a flat thing it already has this nice curve and very nice smooth material as well as a fairly big surface to sit on, so it's really a nice cushion already. And for those who like it more sporty, there is again a race version, uh, this is already the race 2, uh, they had an iteration there, I'm not sure what changed, they look fairly similar, uh, at least for the pad it's the same. Um, it was a little bit difficult to find the numbers, only one, of all the racer variants actually had it uh, written down the others just say oh it has this nice uh, very high density 2.5 uh, pad but 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 no details same for the thickness i compared them in the shop they felt same for the thickness but uh, nothing written on the website shape wise we probably have the biggest differences so you can see it's more cut in shape with the rc500 we had this huge pad which is comfortable and here we have more ergonomic or weight reduced uh, contour lines um, also at the uh, front we have uh, this big additional very thin pad but still makes it more comfortable um, I personally had a little bit of an issue with the front edge as it is fairly wide and has a, a pressure point on the body if you know what I mean and the others they have this very thin uh, pointy edge and somehow at the racer they have this wider one uh, which is also let's say at the wrong position and I personally had to return my pants uh, because they I, I couldn't stand it. This was really, really uncomfortable. But it's definitely possible that that was just a personal thing. Maybe I just had the wrong pants or my body doesn't just fit the size. However, there is even a higher spec now. And I could find this only on one model. 
and there was no photo of it they didn't have it in the shop and it's the gravel 900 so made for endurance this has a whooping 150 density so uh, supposed to be even more comfortable uh, than the others for really long trips so probably for bike packing uh, at least from the specs this could be the most comfortable one I really wish I could get my hands on some of these but I didn't want to buy them because they are quite expensive and if I ever see them in the shop I will definitely add a video of these. Speaking of the shops, so actually uh, online as well as in the physical shops they still also sell some of the older products and they don't have any of the pads I showed you they have two other ones and this uh, it's more of a warning I think uh, because I think you should try to avoid these two. First of the two actually serves itself as a warning so whenever you see this orange color uh, that should be alarming to you it can still be found in some of the leftovers RC100 and the density with just 60 still has a 14 millimeter thickness but it's just uh, uncomfortable it's pretty big uh, bulky doesn't feel nice doesn't adjust to your body and you really feel like you're just sitting on a, on a piece of cardboard or so the other one that's definitely from an older generation uh, here i have uh, two examples of this so it's this uh, blue pad uh, which looks really old school and uh, I found it once uh, on this one, the RC720 from Rock Rider, um, and also on this RC500 from Triburn. Uh, the density both same, so it's a 60 and just 15 uh, millimeter thick, which is a little bit more, but uh, if you look at the details, it's not a constant uh, 15, and just for some of the pads and here is definitely something to be aware of since it's RC500 Triburn and the new one is RC500 Van Riesel, so they upgraded it. Uh, those two can be very easily mixed up. And I just want to show you, last time I went to the shop, actually, they had both sitting next to each other for the same price. And to be fair, uh, on the internet, usually the old one is on. Uh, discount they look very similar so uh, if you go there and if you are in the market to buy one uh, be careful to not buy the Triban one because you will get the older pad and to give you a little bit of a feeling now what do those pads look like in reality uh, I also took some videos in the uh, shops uh, of most of them that I could see and let's start with this comparison from right to left we have the essential the blue one here you can see is so a little bit cheap material, still soft, uh, still good cushion. The three uh, parts we have the RC100. You can see here with the dimples, uh, also nice. Some some venting holes. Uh, the three parts uh, nice and small at the front. We have the uh, old one. Here you can see BT Win, so it's still yeah. It it, it has this uh, bigger part. You can see density 60 and the uh, smaller pads at the front which are a little bit useless i think and the rc500 uh, the new one you can see it's so big it's really thick uh, has a nice uh, squeeze to it a nice curved shape uh, also the front as i mentioned here nice round and thin so no pressure points there next is the orange monster and you can see this is so wide this is uh, very odd shaped um, it's yeah it's soft sure but the shape is just is just wrong and last but not least the racer pad uh, it has a little bit less of a curvature and a shape compared to the rc500 it's less material the claims are high on this i personally didn't feel it uh, as mentioned i had some some issues with the edges at the front Coming back to the overview and now it's time to answer the question so which is the best which should I get and I guess you already have a feeling for it uh, for me it's definitely the RC500 
it's just the most comfortable one. It doesn't break the bank, actually. Those are really, really cheap if you compare it with uh, other brands. I don't say the others are just bad. I think the cheap ones, if you are on a budget, they are okay. But just spend a little bit extra and get a really, really good pair of shorts there. And I think personally, no need to pay the extra for the racer ones. Maybe you are more lucky with them and they fit you better. Uh, for me, they just didn't do it. And I'm really happy with the RC500. I hope you learned something today and enjoyed the video. Uh, I certainly enjoyed researching this stuff. This is just a lot of fun to me. And check out the other videos. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, have a nice day.